What's up guys and welcome back to Simple Saber Metrics. After a few short weeks, we are back and ready to hit the ground running for 2020. I've spent the past few weeks planning some pretty big things for the channel. I'm certain it's going to be a great year. I also, over the past few weeks, had some pretty major life news pop up over on my Twitter, so if you're not already, make sure to give me a follow there. Before we jump into it, welcome back to another video guys. If you're new here and you're a coach, player, or trainer interested in learning more about the practical applications of data-driven baseball, you've come to the right place. Join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below for more weekly baseball animations. I'm really happy with the direction that this channel took over the past year. And as I said last year, this channel is meant to have an open route of communication between me and all of you. And that's been great so far. Going off that, I got an awesome comment on a previous video from DC Dunk, questioning something that I have not gone into great detail before on this channel. If we do learn all of this information, what are the benefits of utilizing this technology, and what does that actually look like in practice? Great question, DC Dunk. That's what today's video is going to be all about. So to begin this, how can you effectively implement data? The ideal process looks something like this. You begin with investing and learning about the technology out there. Once you make that investment on what seems important to you, you begin to collect that data, find different ways to understand it, and then begin to implement it. Then ideally, you find ways to blend that into your practice plan and eventually see those results turn out on the field. On this channel, we've talked a lot about the different technologies, as well as certain data points of importance. But often we talk about how you can implement this one piece of data but what about the overall goal of improving on-field performance? In my opinion, collecting and applying data definitely aids in the player development process. Let's talk about why. To me, there are four main benefits that I see from the use of data in everyday practice. It allows you to make informed decisions. It gives you a concrete way to evaluate yourselves as well as different drills. You can create a better personalized player development plans and you can create better scouting reports for opposing teams. Starting with making better informed decisions. I've used this analogy on the channel before, but if you were a salesperson trying to secure a sale and you didn't crunch the numbers to make sure that this deal was going to provide you with some sort of margins or some sort of benefit to the business, you may along the way make some pretty poor choices, even if your intentions are good. This is what utilizing technology is like to me. You can measure as much as you can in order to eliminate the guesswork from your practices to make sure you're seeing some benefits. You can have systems in place to statistically improve your players across the board. It simply makes more sense. The more information you have to make a personnel decision, a player development decision, or any other decision, the better. Next, it improves your ability to evaluate yourself and the drills that you make your guys do. I talked a little bit on Driveline's key performance indicators in a previous video, but it makes total sense. If you have a guy that has been put on a velocity building program, and at the conclusion of that program they haven't made any strides, you need to know the why behind that, and you need to maybe understand that your program may not have worked for that guy, and you need to find out what the reason for that is. It holds you accountable to make better decisions in the future and to constantly evaluate yourself on what you're doing in order for you to improve along the way as well. Lastly, it helps build credibility. If you have created several different systems in order to improve players in different areas, you will know how to explain the why to players if they ever ask. In today's age, with all of this information, we are able to make better decisions while creating personalized plans for each guy. Not everybody needs a velocity building program. Not everybody needs to work on their secondary stuff or their delivery. But by utilizing the tools that are available to you, there is no excuse to continue making everybody do the same thing because everybody's body is different. So you need to treat them that way as you prepare them to compete. And my last bullet point is not something I'll spend any time on today. But if you're interested in hearing more about the way I utilize data in the scouting process, please leave a comment down below. These are just four tidbits of information on why collecting and utilizing data is important. There are so many more out there. But now that we have some of those bases covered, let's look into what this actually might look like. All right, so the actual implementation of this program. Let's begin by looking at an athlete that needs to be placed on a bat speed program. There are several different ways to train this, such as overload and underload bats, 
You know your system is going to take three weeks and your goal is to increase an athlete's bat speed by a couple miles per hour. You take the athlete through that program, measuring their performance over time, and at the end of it you reflect to see did they improve through this system and did they reach your goal. Then, why or why not? Did they get sick during it? Did they slack during a training period? How did they change in the weight room over this time period? All these questions need to be answered before you can cross off this program or give it your stamp of approval. But as we talked about earlier, you may look into the data and see that another athlete doesn't necessarily need bat speed training. They may need some vision training, mobility training, or maybe even just some more time to develop in the weight room. The best part about all of this data is you now have a quantifiable reason to help make your decisions rather than just guessing. There's no excuse to get stuff like this wrong. Each guy deserves a personalized plan, and it is our job as coaches to determine what is best for each guy. Consider this a general overview of what implementing data looks like. If you're interested in a more in-depth look into more specific scenarios where I've applied data in the past, let me know in the comments section down below. As always, thank you guys for your continued support, and I'm looking forward to another great year. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video or you just want to support the channel, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment with any questions or suggestions for a future video, and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Wednesday.